when people hear the word cancer, it's scary. And I just want to let them know that it's, it's not as scary as it sounds and you're gonna get through this. My name's Magnus, I'm 10 years old, and I have Hodgkin's lymphoma. I was wrestling season, so I would wrestle. I mean, I'd go outside and like play around. I'd ride my scooter a lot until this happened. And I started to get tired and I just didn't have any energy. Anytime I think that you hear the word cancer, it is like a jolt of lightning that goes through your body, especially as a parent. I didn't have any words, I was scared and I didn't know what was gonna happen. You never know when it's gonna be you or when it might be your child because cancer doesn't care. And I can't even say enough about how great everybody is in the hospital. Everybody just has a way of treating you with such kindness and care and concern and making you feel like you might be the only patient they've ever had. Dr. McCarthy is like really good. They're all here, they're really nice. They all seem like they care, which it's good to know. Once we had a plan, we kind of took a deep breath, like, okay, this is something that we can handle. We were really able to tailor Magnus's treatment for him. He's a very active boy, um, enjoys playing sports, so we really wanted to give him a treatment plan that would cause the least amount of cardiovascular side effects down the road. We have six cycles of chemotherapy and we are about halfway done now. I don't normally feel any different. It'll make me tired sometimes, but really only on the first day of every cycle. After that first cycle when we met Dr. August, he's like, so how's Magnus doing? And we're like, He's doing really great. After that first cycle, you just are already prepared for it. You know what's going to happen. And then after the second cycle, he Magnus was more active and had more energy. And so then we thought, well, maybe you can play baseball. So he joined back with practicing with his team, and he's doing great today. I feel great. Wake up, brush my teeth, do my mouthwash. I mean, what I normally do. And I jump off the edge, and I'd always just like stick my arms out and my legs out. <laughs> You're a serious belly flopper. You're not messing around. We have this great child life specialist named Liz, and her and Magnus uh, seemed to make a connection uh, in the first couple times that they were in the clinic. And we got a call from the Children's Mercy Philanthropy Department, and they said, "Hey, we got your son's name from Child Life. That uh, he would be a great candidate." throw out the first pitch for the Royals game. Say what's up. So I said, Magnus, would you like to throw out the first pitch of the Royals game? And he's like, yes! He threw the heat. That thing went by me. That was a great throw. Good job, buddy. There are so many things now that my husband and I think there was like some kind of fate. And when I think about his name, and I think about how much strength is associated with the name Magnus, you are just destined to do something fabulous for this world. I mean, he just really has not missed a beat as far as the things that he wants to do. Be an inspiration to people and be able to share my story with other people and let them know that this isn't as scary as it sounds.